as you know, on Fox Football now, we break news. We've broken it the last couple of weeks. This is a news item I would hope that I would not have to break. We had Sean Payton on a couple of weeks ago as the first member of the NFL family that we knew that had the coronavirus. And now I'm here to report we have news of the first player to test positive for the coronavirus. It is Ram center Brian Allen. Now, I talked to Brian this morning, and he said he got it actually about three weeks ago. And the first thing he said was, quote, I woke up three weeks ago. I couldn't smell anything. I lost all sense of smell um, to the point where I had smelling salts here. I cracked them open, put them to my nose, and nothing happened. Then he lost his sense of taste. He said, all I could feel was texture in my mouth. Literally, it was the only sense I had in my mouth. And he said, I then got periodic sore throats. I would just get really fatigued. My throat would start burning. Everything felt different than every other flu I've had. He then got headaches and stiff. He'd get tired. He has to sit, sit down. I asked him how long did these symptoms last. He said, those lasted for about three or four days. But he was retested again last week. And he tested positive again. But Brian told me that because of the length that he's had it, as of Thursday, he will actually be in the all clear. So his symptoms have cleared up except for the taste and the smell. He said doctors have actually told him uh, a range of when he's going to regain his smell. Uh, he said it was anywhere from six to eight months, but he's actually six to eight months, but he's actually regained some of the smell already. So he's not really sure what information to go on. But again, Brian Allen, we're glad that, and Brian said to me also, look, my case wasn't as bad. This is a real life, life or death situation. That's not what my situation was. So we're glad, we're happy that Brian Allen is able to pull through this. For the best access, perspective, and personalities in all of sports, follow us at Fox Sports on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.